Well, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan is dedicated to helping Michiganders lead healthier lives. And one way they do that is by telling us how to maybe eat a little bit better. Yeah, well, healthy eating habits, and that includes more than just what's on your plate. That's how you eat and who's with you around that dinner table. Registered dietitian Shanti Apello is the health and wellness spokesperson at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. She joins us via Zoom this morning. Good morning, Shanti. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. Thanks for having me. Well, our pleasure. We want to know, obviously, why we should be doing this. I mean, is there any science behind the, the importance of family meals? There sure is. And it's kind of one of those things where what isn't a benefit of a family meal? Uh, kids who participate in family meals tend to perform better in school. Um, they have better self-esteem lower rates of obesity. Um, they also tend to have better social skills, better vocabulary. And for younger kids, it's a great opportunity to develop fine and gross motor skills too. All right, so that's, uh, you know, lots of good reasons to sit around the table. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say as both of us being parents, sometimes it's hard to find a meal that's going to make everyone want to come <laughs> and sit at the table and eat together. So help us out there, Shanti. Yeah, so picky eaters, both very big reasons for why family meals don't happen. Um, and I know that in summer, oftentimes kids are in sports. It can be a little tricky to fit that in. But the good news is it doesn't have to be dinner. Uh, so you can fit in family meals at breakfast, lunch, even snack times. The more that you just meet together around a table, the better. Um, also, research really shows that regardless of how functional, quote unquote, that your family is, just sitting together communicating really carries a lot of those benefits. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a gourmet meal either. It can just be sandwiches and, uh, you know, a fruit on the side. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. Uh, again, that communication is what's important. Um, research has found that the more that your family dines together and communicates around the table, uh, the more protective it is of mental health. Um, it's also protective against uh, physical health for a lot of kids. So uh, all the reasons, right? You know, I've found that I'm, I'm doing most of the cooking mm -hmm. for dinner in our, our almost 100% of the time. And I found that getting my kids involved in prepping the meals is not only a good way to get them to get involved in eating around the table with us, but also trying new things. I mean, getting kids involved in the, in the prep and the actual cooking is a big deal too, right? Yeah, so research really shows that the more kids are part of preparation, and that means, you know, picking vegetables at the grocery store to preparing them, whether it's just something simple like mixing a salad or getting more and more involved, like sauteing something on the soap top. Um, all of those things are going to be make them more likely to consume fruits and vegetables that are so protective um, later on in life. And, you know, a lot of these skills that they're building during their childhood and getting involved in the kitchen not only helps build their self-esteem, but it also helps set them up for healthier habits when they're older and they're on their own. And also uh, we see lower rates of obesity and things like that later on in life associated with these family meals earlier too. You know, I'm gonna toss in something extra there too, and that's our garden. You know, being able to actually grow some food that they can actually, they love going out to the garden to get some cilantro yes. or a carrot or something like that because it gets them more involved as well. Or go out and go pick some berries, right. you know, yeah, do yeah, things you like them. that because if they've picked them, the chances are they're going to want to eat them. Absolutely. So, exactly. Shanti, if people want more information, you have recipes, you have ideas, some inspiration that people can go and find uh, to get us all around the table together. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to learn more about all of this, if you want free recipes, we have all of that on a healthiermichigan.org. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Shanti. We appreciate your time. We'll be right Thanks back. Thanks so much.